Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the virtual announcement of the FIAPSI Prix d'Excellence Award Winners 2020. My name is Maria Silveira, Head of Communications at FIAPSI International and today's Master of Ceremony. The FIAPSI Prix d'Excellence Award, also known as Oscar for Real Estate, recognizes projects that best embody excellence in all real estate disciplines involved in their creation. Without further ado, allow me to introduce Dr. Yuki Su, President of the Prix d'Excellence Committee, who will now say a few words. FFC World President, Martino Dulalia. Ladies and gentlemen, Selamat datang and welcome to the online broadcast ceremony to announce the winners of the 2020 FFC World Prix de Excellence Awards. This online ceremony is very special to all of us. Due to COVID-19, we are not able to sit together and enjoy the gala dinner, but have to divide our ceremony into two different parts. First, to announce the winners through the online broadcast where you are flowing now. Second, to present the trophy to winners in 2021. The Prix Awards is judged based on project preparations, architecture, design, construction, financial, marketing, environmental, maintenance, safety, and benefits to community. In other words, it is an overall awards. We have 16 categories. The judging is done by worldwide real estate professional and an oversight panel. Further, no judge is allowed to judge the entire category if there is a participant from his home country. The judges are final and cannot be changed. All marks are confirmed by an independent auditor, the KPNG Malaysia. I hope you are now understand a little more the difference of the Brits Awards. Over the past 28 years, a total of 440 winners located in over 35 countries were awarded. For this announcement, the three new winners will be awarded. Congratulations. All winners are the excellent accompany to the Briggs Awards Hall of Honors. Ladies and gentlemen, the Briggs Awards owes its tribute to many. To late Luis Carlos de Almeida of Brazil, to seven groups of USA, both of them are the father of the Briggs Awards. To Dr. Alan Pong of Malaysia, he was the person that we look for to underwrite financial deficit in sustaining the Brits Award. To the Wall Street Journal, our partner for international English business newspaper for 1992 to 2019, to judges, oversight panel, Brits Awards Committee, PFC Headquarters Secretary, Brits Secretary, media partners, the Star and Oriental Daily, book sponsor, Namuda Land and Park City. Thank you very much to all of you for helping the Brits Award to stay until today. Ladies and gentlemen, nobody is successful alone. To FIAPSI chapter that organize property awards, please continue your good work. It will not be easy, but you will be making your developers, your property owners, your chapter, and your country proud whenever your participant is as now as a winner. To potential participants, please do not hesitate to take part as the Prix Award is managed by a set of rules and regulations. I am not discount that there may be so-called Prix experts out there trying to offer you advices. But I can assure you that no invisible hand will succeed per their personal emotions. As current practices, no judge is supposed to know what the other judges are judging. In addition, I will be practicing the motto without fear of favor when it comes to the Prix Awards. With these short notes, ladies and gentlemen, until we meet again, I would like to wish all of you to stay healthy and happy. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Yukisu. Before we proceed to the announcement of the winners, it is my pleasure to invite FIAPSI World President Florentino Dulalia to deliver his welcome speech. Dear FIAPSI members, friends, guests, and award participants. I hope you are all well and staying safe under these unprecedented circumstances. It is my pleasure to welcome you to this virtual celebration of the 2020 EMC Print Excellence Award. Even though I wish we could celebrate this special occasion in person. Please allow me to start by acknowledging my predecessor, World President 
2020 Walid Musa, who was supposed to present the prizes on May 28 during the World Congress in Manila, Philippines. Unfortunately, the difficulty of the situation related to COVID-19 made it impossible for the event to be organized. Despite the complexity of the situation, it is important to attribute the pre the excellence awards and officially announce the winner as they say, the show must go on. It is an affirmation of the FC ideal of providing society with optimal solution to its property need and helping make the world a better place to live, work, and enjoy as such the Oscar of Real Estate. Rewards overall merit with top prices recognizing those projects. At best embodied excellence in all real estate disciplines involved in its creation, from affordable housing to sustainable development, office to retail, these real estate projects fall into one of the 16 categories and are genuinely deserving of being showcased on the world stage. Our judges evaluate the architecture, design, the construction of the project, in addition to considering its impact on the community and environment and its financial and marketing success. Without further ado, I will not prolong your excitement. I will end up my speech by standing my heartfelt gratitude to all those who participated in this pre the excellence awards. And my congratulations to all the winners. Thank you for your contribution to the real estate industry and our society as a whole. Good day and keep safe, everyone. Thank you very much, Mr. President, for your kind words. And now, following the remarks of the FIAFC World President, Florentino Dulalia, the time has come to find out who are the winners of the 2020 FIAFC World Prix Excellence Awards. And we will start with the silver winners. Ladies and gentlemen, we now come to the highlight of this online live announcement. First, to announce the World Silver Winners for 2020 World Pre the Excellence Awards in 14 categories. First up is for the Affordable Housing category. The World Silver Winner is Pangsapuri Kasturi, Malaysia. Pangsapuri Kasturi consists of four blocks of apartments with 1,016 units. The development is categorized under My Home Scheme, a special project to address the issue of home ownership for B40 Income Group. The next award is for Environmental Category. The World Silver Winner is Lao Chie Riverside Park, Taiwan. It is next to the Taoyuan Airport MRT Line's Lao Chie River Station. The objective was to develop an urban waterfront transit hub and a comprehensive blue and green belt of the area. The third award is Heritage Category. There are two winners in this category. The first World Silver winner is... Elswout, the Netherlands. For more than a century, Elswout Country House remained unfinished. After finding the original construction drawings in 1990, Cobra Spun Group took up the challenge and completed as per architect Muskan had intended in 1884. The second World Silver winner is Reconstruction of Gulbaba's Turbe, Hungary. They adopted a unified approach on architectural and landscaping in restoring the historical monument its inner garden, the public park and the neighboring streets to service both visitors and residents. 
The next award is the hotel category. The world silver winner is Hotel Pangia, Hungary. Exhibiting 5,000 animals on 35 hectares, inspired by the concept of a zoo hotel, special attention was paid to the unique atmosphere of the area to avoid damaging the ecosystem of old age oak trees and the Sosto Lake. Next up, we have the industrial category. The world silver winner is Panapak Free Zone Phase 1, Republic of Panama. It was built by giving their tenants a place with an excellent logistic location. It has 52 units of typical warehouses plus two macro lot built to suit with custom services on site. Panapak uses solar technology in all common areas for energy saving. The next award is the Master Plan category. We have two winners. They are... First, the Urban Renewal of Fuzhong District, Taiwan. The renewal includes three independent spaces combined with two synergistic effects and one limitless system, offering green living rooms for the public and creating silent traffic area and qualified public street space. The second silver winner is also from Taiwan, the Sinchu Smile Waterfront. The project brought together separate programs into one holistic master plan. It promotes cohesion and differences by fostering a healthy waterfront environment. The next award is for the mixed use development category. The world silver winner is Watertown and Waterway Point, Singapore. Watertown is the first commercial residential development in Pungal, served by a comprehensive public transport network, seamlessly integrated with community institutions, Riverside Promenade, and Town Square for communities' events and leisure activities. The next award is for the office category. There are two winners here. The first World Silver winner is Promenade Gardens Office Building, Hungary. The office building stretches across five large floors in four adjoining towers. It is fully occupied and fast divestment proves the viability of the developer's unique design concept and forward-thinking business model. The next World Silver winner is Vachi Greens Buildings, A, B, C and D, Hungary. Vachi Greens combine the holistic architectural design, latest construction techniques and technological building systems that reduce operational costs, thus reducing the environmental impact. The next award is for Public Infrastructure and Amenities category. The World Silver winner is... Zhuangwei Dune, Taiwan. The Zhuangwei Dune Tourist Service Park is set in the middle of the coastal area of Yilan. It has introduced art exhibitions and performances and shares the beautiful sand dunes with an international art gallery-like style. The next award is the Residential High Rise category. The World Silver winner is... The Gate. Taiwan. Their design focuses on the care of environment and preservation of humanity and history. It is an exceptional example of building integration with a local culture, demonstrating a regional architectural design under globalization. The next award is the Residential Mid-Rise category. The world silver winner is... Symphony Suites, Singapore. The project has a mix of two, three and four bedroom units with four suites per floor. Their facilities and its landscape deck is designed to characterize its planting palette which infuses the reminiscence of the seasons, spring, summer, autumn and winter. Next up, we have the residential low-rise category. The World Silver winner is 
The Orient Singapore Inspired by the ornate screens that for centuries have filled Chinese homes, the project cleverly wraps each facade in an elegant geometric frame, creating a strong aesthetic and offering each resident their very own picture frame to the outside world. Now, here's announcing the winner for retail category. The world silver winner is... Waterway Point, Singapore. This is Singapore's first integrated waterfront residential and retail development. It is highly accessible with adjacent major transport nodes and seamlessly integrated with a riverside promenade and town square for community events and leisure activities. Finally, we have the winner for Sustainable Development category. The World Silver winner is... Ecodome Office Building, Hungary. Their key objective was to build an environmental friendly and modern facility that blends perfectly into the prestigious environment and architectural characteristics of the castle district of Budapest. Congratulations to all World Silver winners. Thank you. Congratulations to this year's silver winners. Without a doubt, these real estate projects are generally deserving of being showcased on the world stage. Next up, a moment we've been all waiting for, the announcement of the gold winners. Are you ready? I know I am. Let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, we would now like to announce the World Gold Winners of 2020 FIAPSI World Prix de Excellence Awards in 14 categories. The first award is the Affordable Housing category. World Gold Winner is... Alam Sangar Inda, Indonesia. Alam Sangar Inda, located in West Bandung Regency, West Java, Indonesia, currently is the largest affordable housing residential in that district with an area of 35 hectares. With considerate planning, vast amount of green open space, and well-integrated infrastructure, Alam Sangar Inda today is home to over 1,000 families. This main residential boulevard connects Chililin in the east with Chisawak in the west. Widened access road to Alam Sangar Inda has become a roadway connecting villages and thus increasing occupancy and boosting local businesses. The development of Alam Sangar Inda raised the land value, converting a barren sand quarry site into a livable residential and developed local economy while generating a new micro ecosystem in the area. Sangar Inda Group provide better living. The next award is the environmental category. We have two winners here. The first winner is Dong Fu Tian Bridge in Li Tai River, Taiwan. A story of Li Tai River in Tapalong village. This was once the beloved home of white crabs. Toast to our ancestor, we have prepared this wine for you. The Soil and Water Conservation Bureau has integrated the Tavlong Amis traditions in its local culture, together creating a better future. With the ecology restored, native flora and bird species have returned. The return of white crabs has brought Tapuong's use back home. Regulation Project of Dong Fu Tian Bridge in Li Tai River. The second winner is Shan Zuhu Hydro Ecology Park, Taiwan. Welcome to San Zhuhu Hydroecological Park, 
It's an environmental friendly place for all ages. We sincerely invite you to take a leisurely tour of this newly constructed natural park. Bring your curiosity. Let's explore this mysterious ecological wonderland all together. Strolling with the green trails, visitors are expected to view a refreshing scenery of natural wetlands and a variety of biota. Furthermore, enjoy many ecological surprises and have a wonderful experience. Let's humbly learn from the natural and achieve a harmony between the human and the environmental natural. The third award is for heritage category. The world gold winner is Heritage House Hungary. The purpose of this project was to preserve the heritage spaces and values of the original entertainment hall and to build a modern and well-functioning institute for the Hungarian Heritage House. A more specific goal was formulated. The building in its characters and image should be in relation with the spirit of the institute preserving folk's culture. The style of the original building was by for neo-renaissance representing the bourgeois and art novel. During the reconstruction, the most destroyed vernacular and floral painting was highlighted, which together with other ethnographic objects are creating a connection between the functions past and present. The fourth award is Hotel Category. The World Gold winner is... The Place Taichung, Taiwan. The Place Taichung, an art museum we live. A village of art, a village of block. This is the space for imagination and poetic fables. A light of art that illuminates the city. A traveler's abode amid the beauty of Taichung. Providing a passage between traveling away from and returning to the city. Whether lunch or dinner, Zebra takes your taste on a sumptuous journey. The Place Taichung, an art museum we live. Not just a hotel, but a brand new aesthetic experience. Next, we have the winner for the Master Plan category. The World Gold winner is... Gamuda City, Vietnam. At Gamuda Land, we create places where people can call home, grow up and grow old in. When we first came to Hanoi, we solved the city decades-old problem of untreated sewage. Then, we focused on rehabilitation of 102 hectares Yin So Park. We cleaned the lake and reintroduced native species to the area. Next, we carefully think through the neighborhoods, the streets, then the community gathering place, the learning place, the shopping and eating place, and finally, the home place. When we get the places right, the town works. That is how we look at the details so when people move in, they get a feel of the place and want to be part of it. The sixth award is the Mixed Use Development category. We have two winners here. The first world gold winner is Plaza Arcadia, Malaysia. Imagine a good day. What does yours remind you of? A road taken a thousand times? A touch in the memory? Or a whiff of breeze that makes you feel as young as you could remember? Back 
bask in the excitement that gives fireworks to the night. Smile freely and create magic in this epicenter of endless vibrancy that brings you back again and again. That is what Plaza Arcadia means to you and to us. Proudly presented to you by Park City, the creator of a multiple award-winning township. The second world gold winner is Guoco Tower, Singapore. Singapore Tallest Integrated Development, Guoco Tower. Integrated Development, Excellent Connectivity. One luxury apartment with unblocked views. Up next is the winner for office category. The world gold winner is. KL Eco City, Malaysia. KL Eco City, a 25 acre sustainable transit oriented development located in the heart of Kuala Lumpur's new Golden Triangle. The precinct located at KL Eco City commercial and retail parcel comprises of five towers. The corporate office tower features offices with vast floor plates suited for large corporations. The boutique office blocks comprise of mid-size offices, are in a three-block cluster that is further divided into 12 quadrants, suited to aspiring private tower owners and investors looking for lower net floor area. The Strata office tower consists of compact flexi office suites, suitable for new startups or small to medium enterprises, designed to spark interaction and informal meetings between occupants. KL Eco City, the visionary development of imaginatively curated commerce, retail, residential, and leisure components, where live, learn, work, and play are perfectly balanced. The eighth award goes to the public infrastructure and amenities category. The world gold winner is. Reconstruction of Gul Baba's Turbay, Hungary. The complex restoration of one of the oldest monuments of Budapest, the tomb of Gul Baba and its surroundings, was carried out in cooperation between the Hungarian and the Turkish governments. The architectural and landscaping concepts adopted a unified approach to the restoration of the historic monument and its inner garden, as well as the renewal of the public park. The central element of the development, Gul Baba's tomb, was restored on the basis of the findings of scientific research, as well as incorporating the currently available technical solutions. Gul Baba Street, which leads to the tomb and the surrounding park, is also one of the jewels of the Hungarian capital, with an atmosphere reminiscent of the 19th century. A Mediterranean hanging garden, unique in Budapest, was planted with nearly 140 trees, 2,300 shrubs and more than 400 roses. The revival of the Turbe and its surroundings constitutes one more step forward in the renewal and enrichment of Budapest. Next we have the Residential High Rise category. And the World Gold winner is... The Scots Tower, Singapore. The Scots Tower, developed by Far East Organization, is a 31-story residential development conceptualized by Red Dot award-winning architect Ben von Berkel. In the context of Singapore's dense urban environment, the Scots Tower was designed encouraging living spaces to flow beyond four walls. 
the Scots Tower achieved the right balance of designed economics creatively, with appropriate number of units, while maintaining porosity and a strong sense of community with an array of communal facilities on the first, second and twenty-fifth stories. More than 75% of the site area was set aside for facilities and communal spaces, bringing to life architect Ben von Berkel's philosophy of neighborhoods in the sky. The 10th award is for residential mid-rise category. The world gold winner is... Sophia Hills, Singapore. Sophia Hills, a modern contemporary masterpiece. Keeping heritage alive with the restoration of three old buildings on the hill, it brings new life to historical gems. Tranquility and peace in the midst of the city, something priceless in the modern world. With glistening pools and lush groves of trees, residents gain respite from their bustling life. A delightful architecture and a thoughtful use of traditional palette, it blends seamlessly with the spirit of its place. Beautiful landscape soothes the senses. Care for details and craft enriches the spirit. Sophia Hills by Hoi Hup Sunway. A hundred years in the making. Next up, the residential low-rise category. The world gold winner is... The Asana Singapore. The Asana, a privileged space with a sense of tranquility and serenity. Derived from a desire to provide the perfect balance between life and lifestyle, these 48 apartment units offer contemporary urban sanctuary within Singapore's most distinguished neighbourhood. You can truly unwind whilst enjoying the Asana's first-class facilities. Absorb the chi that flows throughout the residences as you perform your daily Asana. Home to the Asana. Relax, recharge, and rejuvenate. The Asana. Brought to you by Aurum. Now we move on to resort category. The world gold winner is Mangala Resort and Spa, Malaysia. Hidden like a secret, thriving and brimming with life, is a tale of transformation, passionately revived. Welcome to Mangala Resort and Spa, 400 acres of barren land, today an exquisite sanctuary of 67 private luxury villas created to exist amidst the natural world here takes form the harmony of nature and architecture a place of promise for rest and relaxation a tropical paradise an award-winning miracle come experience the legacy of mother nature this is a story awaiting your discovery The 13th award is for Retail Category. The World Gold Winner is... Malawati Mall, Malaysia. Malawati Mall was opened in July 2017. Today, it houses more than 200 exciting retail brands with a diverse mix of local, regional and international brands. Shoppers can enjoy shopping, dining, family entertainment, lifestyle concepts, and more. 
with Green Building Index Certification. Balawati Mall is designed to be energy and water efficient while prioritizing shopper comfort and safety. The interior design provides maximum exposure for retailers and easy navigation for shoppers. Malawati Mall, a winning combination of iconic design, strategic retail planning and excellence in project execution. Proudly brought to you by Saim Derby Property Berhad and Capital Land. And the final award, but not least, is for Sustainable Development Category. The World Gold Winner is... Marina One, Singapore. In Singapore, change is the only constant. Our skyscape is always evolving and is often a spectacular affair. But meaningful change goes beyond aesthetics. It is about challenging the status quo for a deeper purpose. These ideals are rooted in the DNA of Marina One. From its inception, Marina One was conceived as a beacon of sustainable living in central Singapore. A sprawling biodiverse garden anchors the mixed-use development as its green heart. It transforms the entire climate within and connects the local and wider community back to nature. The architecture counters the effects of the tropical climate, while a wide range of technology is incorporated in its design to reduce energy consumption and recycle resources. Marina One raises the bar for sustainable urban development as a building for the future. Congratulations to all World Gold winners. Thank you. Congratulations to this year's gold winners. Thank you for contributing to the FIATSI ideal of providing society with optimal solutions to its property needs and helping make the world a better place to live, work, and enjoy. Thank you to all those who submitted their real estate projects as well. Next up, we would like to acknowledge all those who evaluate each and every single project you saw here today. Ladies and gentlemen, our judges. Adele Adeniji, FIATSI Nigeria. Leo Atias, FIAFC France. George Betts, FIAFC United Kingdom. Luca Biliardi, FIAFC Italia. Antonio Campagnoli, FIAFC Italia. Fami Shaban, FIAFC Arabic Countries. Brian Chaplog, FIAFC South Africa. Kelvin Chong Suhan, FIAFC East Asia. Andres Correa, FIAFC Colombia. Silvia Elias, FIAFC Mexico. Ursula Fischer, FIAFC Austria. Edward Ayonji, FIAFC Korea. Michael Ge, FIAFC Malaysia. Michele Giambonini, FIAFC Swiss. Owen Gwen, FIAFC USA. Michael Hemming, FIAFC Deutschland. Thomas Henley, Fiafsi Suisse, Hannes Horvath, Fiafsi Austria, Guan Junjin, Fiafsi East Asia, Anna Koval, Fiafsi Ukraine, Tony Kuno, Fiafsi India, Dean Lapointe, Fiafsi Canada, Shu Ting Li, Fiafsi Taiwan, Lan Yuan Lin, Fiafsi Singapore, Shang Xin Lin, FIAPSI Taiwan, Rick Linklater, FIAPSI Canada, Rodrigo Luna, FIAPSI Brazil, Thomas Madrich, FIAPSI Austria, Nestor Mangio, FIAPSI Philippines, Marco Matteini, FIAPSI Italia, Christopher McGregor, FIAPSI Australia, Abdel Nasser Taha, FIAPSI Egypt, Hendrik Nelda, Fiafsi Belgium, Sopon Pornchok Chai, Fiafsi Thai, Manuel Rizzo, Fiafsi Luxembourg, Manel Roger Echevarria, Fiafsi España, Klaus Schutt, Fiafsi Deutschland, John Sexton, Fiafsi Australia, Judith Sykes, Fiafsi USA, 
Tenku Ab Aziz Mahmud, Fiapsi Malaysia. Bolu Tokun Olarewadru, Fiapsi Nigeria. Alan Tong, Fiapsi East Asia. Joan Toribio, Fiapsi Andorra. Godfrey Okonudu, Fiapsi Nigeria. Joas van der Waal, Fiapsi Belgium. Francisco Vasconcelos, Fiapsi Brazil. Marie Widmer Frauder, Fiapsi France. E Sinu, Fiapsi East Asia. Eric Zollinger, Fiapsi USA. Thank you very much to all the members of the jury. Now, on to the moment of acknowledgement of the oversight panel. The members of the Oversight Panel have at least two years of experience as judges and are appointed by the World President with a recommendation of the President of the Prix d'Excellence Committee. Ladies and gentlemen, the Oversight Panel. Flavio Gonzaga, Fiapsi Brazil. Joseph Akigbe, Fiapsi Nigeria. Kimiko Kura, Fiapsi Japan. Laszlo Gonchi, Fiapsi Hungary. Natasha Joik, Fiapsi Italia. Peter Ko, Fiapsi Singapore. Paulina Zaika, Fiapsi USA. Ziking Zhao, Fiapsi East Asia. Sheldon Good, Fiapsi USA. Ming Cho Shen, Fiapsi Taiwan. Tit San Yo, Fiapsi Malaysia. Yuki Su, Fiapsi Malaysia, Kasturi Natan, KPMG, Florentino Dulalia, Fiapsi Philippines. Last but not least, after acknowledging these two groups of real estate experts that take part in the judging process, it is only fitting we acknowledge those who each year oversee the organization of the awards. Ladies and gentlemen, the Prix d'Excellence Committee. Yuki Su, Fiapsi Malaysia. Laszlo Gonchi, Fiapsi Hungary, Paulina Zaika, Fiapsi USA, SNU, Fiapsi East Asia, Judith Sykes, Fiapsi USA. Unfortunately, we are fast approaching the end of this virtual ceremony. But before we say goodbye, it is my pleasure to invite the Fiapsi Secretary General Narek Araklia to deliver his final remarks. Distinguished laureates, with the World Prix Excellence Gold and Silver winners officially revealed, we extend our sincere congratulations to all of you. Also, we notify that the confidential clause is now lifted and that you can proceed with your local communication plan. As it has already been announced, the official award ceremony will be held on May 27th next year in Paris. We look forward to meeting you all at the gala dinner of 13th Yapsi World Prix Excellence Awards to celebrate together your outstanding achievements and to welcome you to this prestigious winners club. We express our gratitude to all the participants of our national and international competitions as well. For almost 30 years, our organization has been committed to excellence in real estate development, recognizing and embracing unique and remarkable projects for lives all over the world. Through all this journey, a continuous accomplishment would have been impossible without the contribution of some of our visionary leaders. A month ago, during the transition ceremony, we recognized the past world president, Luis Carlos Pereira de Almeida, who, as you may know, initiated and created this award. Today, full of emotion and appreciation, we would like to announce that by unanimous decision of the Board of Directors, on June 17, another past president, Sheldon Good, was awarded Honorary World President for having rendered eminent service to FIAPSI, in particular for his active membership since 1959. Strong leadership over 60 years of engagement in global real estate industry and tremendous efforts for the development of the Prix Excellence Awards in US and worldwide. Our warmest congratulations to him for becoming the third FIAPSI Award President, along with Anthony Grant and Lawrence McKay, having received this honorable title. unprecedented season, which was full of challenges for all of us. Two of our major events, MIPIM 2020 and the World Congress, were cancelled this year. Over these five months, to create an alternative value proposition, the APSI International organized 12 digital forums in English, French and Spanish. About 50 speakers from 25 countries analyzed the local and global economic situation 
shared insights and best practices on a geographic level as well as from the perspective of different real estate professions. similar webinar sessions to keep their local communities updated and engaged to our organization. We are thankful to all our highly qualified experts for their involvement and solidarity. I also thank our global partners for their support in such a difficult moment to implement this program. With regards to the next Global Business Summit, it will be held on 8 to 10 December 2020 in Asia. The venue will be communicated by mid-September. For selected destinations are Manila, Singapore or Kuala Lumpur. All the scenarios are being carefully studied with the conference committee and in case of impossibility to host a face-to-face -face meeting, ensuring the safety and the security of our delegates, the event in particular, the annual General Assembly will take place virtually. To conclude, I would like to thank all the officers of FIAPSI and the General Secretariat who did a tremendous work for providing our community with relevant content over the past months. In particular, allow me to extend my appreciation to our administrative officer, along with the team and vendors. She successfully finalized the new edition of the Global Membership Directory and has already shipped to each member and partner. We regret that Letitia Barinet decided to terminate her mission and will leave the General Secretary of FIAPSI in a few weeks. On behalf of the entire team, we thank for her precious work and we wish her good luck for our future projects. Ladies and gentlemen, the World Pre Excellence Winners announcement has come to an end. Special thanks to Dr. Yukisu, the President of Pre Excellence Committee, as well as the, all the other officers of this committee and the head of our communication for having organized this event. I do believe you enjoyed it. Stay tuned to our major channels and enjoy your holidays respecting social distancing. See you soon. Goodbye. As noted by our Secretary General, this ceremony has now come to an end. Once again, we would like to extend our sincere congratulations to the 2020 FIAPSI World Prix d'Excellence winners and say thank you to all award participants. Year after year, this prestigious competition raises the profile of the property industry by showcasing best practices and innovations. Although we would have loved to be celebrating with you right now in person, we hope you have enjoyed this new online format and are celebrating wherever you are in this world. With this being said, stay safe, stay well, and thank you once again for joining us. Goodbye.